Okay, so then moving on to the next major kind of block of this workout or this, uh, this program. Um, so value-packed weekly video meetings, okay? So once a week, we're going to have a meeting schedule. We're going to have like a meeting schedule. It's pretty much going to be every Saturday at a decent time. So maybe like 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. And we'll meet for an hour in a virtual like meeting room. So we'll all have, you know, a kind of a video conference. And if you don't have access to video, it's no big deal. You can be on the audio uh, part of it. You'll still be able to interact. And um, we're going to be going back and forth depending on what our goal is for that meeting. But all meetings are going to have kind of a similar goal. Um, and we're going to be talking about lots of different things in a group environment, which is really important because if someone has a question, um, there's probably at least one other person in that group that also has either the same question or a similar question and they either forgot or they're maybe too embarrassed to ask or whatever it might be. So a group environment for learning is ex extremely important because you expedite uh, the amount of learning that you can, you can have. Okay. Um, there's going to be specific questions that I ask you every single week. I'm going to send everyone the same, you know, uh, questionnaire that says, Hey, give me a win that you had this week. Give me a challenge you've had this week. And you'll answer those questions before you come into the group. Then during the group, I'll ask individually, what were your wins? And we'll go around the room and we'll each, each person will say, this is my win. This is my win, blah, blah, blah. And we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, you know, if there's anything that needs to be discussed, we'll discuss about it. So wins, highlighting a positive thing. That's always very important, no matter how small or how big it is. All right. And you're not being egotistical. You're not being, uh, you know, uh, egocentric. It's all about making sure that you're encouraging the positive aspects of the things that you're trying to improve. All right. And then we're going to list one challenge. So maybe one of your challenges is based on the habit or maybe life just threw you a bunch of curveballs and you had a challenge trying to get everything done with your habits. Uh, it just didn't work out perfectly. Uh, that's completely fine. All right. It, it, the challenge could be anything. What the challenge is meant to do is highlight to the group, either, um, a solution through the group, that they might be able to provide. Like maybe someone already went through that experience or a similar experience and they can provide some insight, but also for me as the coach to give you some guiding uh, principles on how to adjust for that later, right? I can't necessarily sit in your, your kitchen and, or stand in your kitchen and make all your food for you if that was your challenge. But the idea is, is there's something that I can do to help navigate you in a more positive and a more productive manner, then I will do that. And that's what the challenges are for. Okay. Um, and you'll get immediate feedback. So if you have a question about something or you have a challenge, you'll get immediate feedback. You won't have to worry about, uh, you know, like waiting to see if there's something that's, uh, that, that I can help provide you with over days and time. The video conference is really one of those things where you get immediate answers to your, your, your kind of immediate questions or your immediate roadblocks possibly. Okay. All right. So the next part is very focused and detailed daily emails. All right. Now I don't send you a daily email to annoy you and it's not going to be jam packed with information that you have to learn before the next video or anything like that. It's going to be very structured, uh, focused emails that give you what your habit is just to remind you. And you might already be like, by the fourth day, you might be like, already, I get it. My habit is this. I mean, that's fine. The point is not for me to annoy you. The point is to reiterate what we're working on so that it's, it starts to get into your brain and becomes automatic, right? We, the more exposure we have to something, the more we're going to learn it at a quicker rate without feeling overwhelmed. So daily emails that list what your current habit is. Okay. For that week, whatever week it is. The second is going to be me basically asking if there's anything I can help you with. Email me. Hey, are you having a bad day? What's going on? Um, are you having a hard time getting your, your habit uh, kind of focused on? I'm going to adjust this because it's a little tilted. Um, are you having a hard time focusing on your habit? Reach out to me via email and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay. That would be the second point. And the third point or the third piece of that email, and it's always going to be the same. So you don't have to like guess which one, what's it's going to be in what order and all that. The third part of the email is going to encourage you to go to your nudge app. So we're going to be using a phone app to help track some things. And we'll go over that later. Um, to go to the nudge app and answer the two questions that are there. Okay. It's just two questions. The first question is what is your weekly habit? All right. You already have the answer to that, whether you've been following along or not, cause it's in the email. The second question is, did you do your daily habit? All right. Now, if this email is sent in the morning and you haven't got a chance to even attempt that, that's fine. You will be sent another reminder at the end of the day through the app. So long as you have notifications uh, allowed, which you, you should, or else you're just going to be wasting your time. Um, that is going to remind you, Hey, did you do your habits today? 
Okay. And that's what's, that's how it's going to be structured. So, um, that's what the emails are going to be. It's going to be an attempt to reach out to you. It's going to be a reminder to actually do your habit and what your habit is. And then it's also going to be, Hey, don't forget to track your habit. We got to do that to stay consistent. All right. Um, one quick little thing about habit tracking. Sometimes people will ask me, Hey, if I don't do a habit, um, I feel guilty. And so I feel ashamed and I don't want to answer the question. All right. I want you to start thinking differently about what it means to track. If you didn't do your habit and you say you did, you're not only lying to yourself and wasting your time, you're also making it harder for me to coach you. So this is an opportunity to be completely honest. And if you feel comfortable and you trust me, which I hope you do at this point, because you've been watching my videos, if you trust me and you feel comfortable with me, with being honest with me, then you're going to have a much better experience in this program. If you don't, you might not be ready for this program. So that's just a quick little thing. You have to be honest in order to get the help that you need. All right. I just want to lay that out front and foremost.